All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're doing part six of what a future Naruto train past Naruto. So, for a quick recap, if I remember, I haven't did part five. Part five, I released part five, and I recorded it on Friday. And it is currently Tuesday. Part six was supposed to be out on Monday. This part will be out yesterday, but it will be all released today with part seven. So expect a double upload, but um, I remember um, we left off with Shukaku saying that he would give Gara one good night of sleep, and that's as far as I heard. So let's get back into it. So um, Naruto, Gara, Konkuro, and Tamari, and Memo, and Konkuro, I mean not Konkuro, and Konohamaru would all go to um but I'll go to Gara and them uh, where they will be staying at. No, I told escorts them there. They escort them there. As Conqueror also apologized to Konohamaru. You know Konohamaru is quite forgiving, so we tell them it's no problem. So since um there's no problem um tomorrow she's um is wondering what Gara was talking about when he said brothers. Yeah, she does not know Naruto is in Jaturiki. So since she doesn't know Naruto is in Jaturiki, she still is wondering why is Gara ca called why did Gara call these two brothers? She must be like. She must be thinking Gara might be even going even crazier in this village. So we're on a time skip to a couple days later, which is the start of the tuning exams with Naruto, Mima, Sasuke, and Sakura all head to the tuning exams. While um Naruto can sense the Genjutsu, and he knows, uh, Mema knows, the, Naruto can sense the Genjutsu, and Mema knows about the Genjutsu, because, you know, it's his past. They decide, huh, let's just, you know, go, let's do that technique. Now, I got this technique from, um, what if Itachi trained Naruto? It's when Naruto floods his chakra, Naruto floods his chakra in, inside of an area and can transport anywhere where his chakra is at. So Naruto just floods his chakra and goes to the real third story, avoiding everybody. And when Naruto walks in, Naruto and Mima walk in. That's when one person runs up and hugs Mima. Now I know what you guys are wondering. Who could have hugged Mima? It's actually, you know, but Naruto actually got a hug too from Hinata. As Naruto has never really expected this and starts to blush. As Naruto um asks Kinata, what is that for? As Hinata, then and there, this is this is all happened way early in the series. He says that there's a high chance of her dying in the um tuning exam. So she wants to tell Naruto this now. She tells him that she um loves him. Well she has a crush on him at least. Which Naruto is surprised. Look, like, you know he has. Naruto knows he has no chance for Sakura. So he doesn't really. Really pursue love. But Naruto. Decides to do something unexpected. He sees that there is a weapons expert. Here. Which is. um As uh, he can sense them walking in. Cause she can, you can, he can smell the weapon, like the metal and all that stuff on her. Cause he gives off the same smell that that shop gave off that they got their new swords from. As Naruto would then go up to her, say, "Hey, you see this sword on my back?" And Tita said, "Yeah, I can sense his presence. What is that?" He said, "Well, we might have, we have, um, we split the." Executioner's blade up into five swords. Which Tintin, he's... Tintin says, what? And Naruto doesn't know it's Tintin yet. 
But he says, I have a favor to ask of you, weapons maker. She says, just call me Tintin. He says, okay. You see, you see that you see that girl over there with the Byakugan? He says, yes. I want you to melt down. I want you to um switch out the blade handle. And give it to her. Um, and make it into a Hugo blade handle. Ask her what type of handle she likes. Make it. Make it. Ask her. Tell her it's a gift. Denji wants to give her a gift. But he doesn't know what she likes. As I bet my brother, um, my brother would want to do the same thing for her, um, as, um, for her, as not to point over at, you know. Miss Tintin agrees with, she says, then where are the other two blades? As Naruto points to Sasuke and Sakura, she says, our other, uh, the other three blades, he says, he points at Naruto and, uh, no, he points at Sasuke and Sakura, he says, they have two of them, and our sensei has the last one. She says, well, it'll be easy to switch out the handles and get it. And say, can we possibly get a new sheath? She says, yeah. And say, okay. And Naruto says, thank you. Uh, she gives her the scroll. And tells her, make sure she doesn't use this unless she really needs it. But if she does need it, make sure uh, make sure she, get, um, she, she takes really good care of it. So Naruto leaves and Tintin puts the scroll in her pouch. To which Neji asks, what's that about? As uh, Tintin just says, it's just business. So Ibiki then comes in and everything happens much to canon. Okay. But Naruto and Mima giving a speech. So since Naruto and Mima have given a speech... Uh, Ibiki passes everybody else that's left. We're gonna go over the important teams. So the Hidden Cloud actually came. So it's Samuin, Darley, um, Darley, their team. Um, no, Samuin, Omui, and um, Karoli. What is up with those names? But that's their that's that team came. Team B came. Okay. Um, Yamizu Kage came. With Tojiro. Um. No, with Tojiro and his teammates. But those are just fodder for now. Meant to be beaten. Um. So, the people who pass are those two, those two teams plus Team 7. Team 8, Team 10, Goddess Team, Kabuto's Team, and Orochimaru's fake team. And that um, Sound Ninja Team. So mostly everybody can, except with those two teams added. So, they, um, Anko comes in, and Naruto's like, Mima is in his, Naruto, which is Mima in his mind, saying, Damn it. Here she comes. Alright, she sees Anko coming. She's like, you know, I wish I wish she would have stayed in shape in the future. Maybe she could have learned from Jutsu with Orochimaru and become stronger than what she is. But now she she's just a fat donko loving person in the future. So he says, I'm most definitely gonna change that. So, Naruto would then So, Naruto would then ask Anko, why did she come in through the window? Before Ibiki could say something. And Anko says, shut it, Genin. As she then introduces herself as the proctor of the second stage. And they all head to the force of death. So she gives the same thing about the death thing. She just says the same thing about them possibly dying and giving them the waiver. Twist. So, um, no, Mima actually goes up, gets all the waivers and the scroll. And knows where they're supposed to go. As they're all still as they're all still wearing their special arm um their armor, like samurai like armor. 
So Naruto and Mima, um, Naruto thinks that he should him and um, no, not Naruto. Mima thinks that he and his team should be his dad's record, which I can't really remember what his dad's record was. Not gonna lie. So, since um, Mima thinks that this should happen. I don't know why I keep saying Naruto. It's just hard because Evan did this but like, Evan over like three days. Um, Mima then says, well, that means Orochimaru has to come. So Sasuke has to get bit. He says after that, I'll, as soon as Orochimaru bites Sasuke, I'll, imme I'll immediately get them out of there. So Naruto goes and finds a team, which is just the fighter team, and gets their scroll. When um then Naruto comes across some swords, man. And this is Chojuro. And Chojuro pulls out his sword and his sword immediately he gets that um what is that sword called from the, the seven swords? What is that sword called? I can't really remember the name of that sword. The one he has. Um I believe it's the, I'm, um, I'm going to try that, actually. Um, let's see. Looking for Chojuro right quick. I'm sorry about for the long way. But Chojuro then, um, his sword immediately releases. Now, I know he doesn't really release his sword until later on. But for now, we're going to, this is how we're going to do it. The hero Kari? Which is just that, um, that big old sword. I mean, let's see, what is it called? The twin sword, the great twin, the great twin blades. That's what it's called. It swords with immediately release as Chojuro never knew that this is what the myth thing of the boys are. It was reacting to Mema's, um, which one did I, Mema's Hellblade. As Naruto said, huh, this would be a good time to test out what I can do with this blade. Further, he's already faced the um, swordsman of the mist, but he wants to face another one. The Chojuro was given to given and for this, Chojuro was given given the sword earlier than canon, I believe. This what if. So. So for Naruto, him um him and Chojo start a battle. Well, Mima, Mima and Chojo start a battle with Naruto, um trying to overpower the two swords. Now he's not pouring any chakra into it, so the twin um the twin blades is just reacting to the dormant sword. That's what Naruto says. He tells Chojuro, you know, I never really want to do this. As Naruto pours chakra in it, and his blade becomes, it catches black fire. Naruto says, huh. I must have learned blades at least. Well, I must have uncovered it. As he then, um, his Chojuro's, as him and Chojuro clash the game, a Chojuro sword catches a blaze. As he's like, his Chojuro starts to get hit by the way. As Naruto sees his blade and the um the blaze release or Amaterasu technically um is subdued. 
Chojuro's passed out as Naruto hands Chojuro one of the extra scrolls as he takes what scroll Chojuro has and gives Chojuro back to his team. So now, um, Naruto is, um, Mimba is actually getting something as, um, one of his, um, flying Raji markers is having chakra poured into it. And he must think it's at that time. As Naruto is then, uh, flying Raji to, um, Mimba then flying Raji to Naruto. For Nar Mimba to see that Orochimaru just bit Sasuke as Naruto. It says, "Damn, it's a little bit. I can't. We can't fight him anymore, bro." So, um, now Naruto would then say, "Fuck." As, um, Naruto would scream, "Fuck," as he says, and as Mimma um then tells Naruto, "We have to go now." Naruto says, "But he says, well, we do live here, so." You know, we know our way around to the place, and we have a marker up there. So, yeah. As Naruto and uh, Mima, Sasuke, and Sakura, all, well, Sasuke being unconscious, they all uh, disappear and appear into the um, place in the middle of the Force of Death, because remember, they do live there. As Naruto and Mima then fly right into their house that's in there, and seal it, and they seal it away. And they seal it into the ground so that it can't be destroyed at all. As Naruto will then, as Kakashi in the future has told Naruto what seal he did to help Sasuke's curse mark. As Naruto does this, and seals it away for now. So Sasuke will eventually wake up and Naruto opens the scroll, both scrolls alerting Aruka and, Naruto, and um, Kakashi that they were attacked by Orochimaru. But Naruto, Mema then tells Naruto... Uh, looks at Naruto, gives him that nod that makes not tell Naruto not to tell him anything what Orochimaru did to Sasuke. So, time skip a couple hours and everybody's finally there. Well, a couple more days and everybody's finally there. The last team actually being um, Neji's team. Kabuto gives up. Sasuke fights who he normally does. Naruto does too. He fights Kiva and wins. Mimma and Tojo get their rematch with no 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 not Mimma fights one of Tojo's teammates and Tojo fights his other teammate. Sakura fights Ino and loses. Um, who else? Um, tomorrow versus Tintin goes must to cannon. And Naruto is really going to heal her because he wants to give that weapon to um to Hinata as soon as he could. As Naruto then place as Naruto then goes up to Tintin and tells them everybody to stand back. As he stabs Tintin, it says pure light healing. As the blade heals Tintin, and Naruto takes his blade out. Tintin wakes up. Cause she was she was knocked out and had a pretty bad back after that. Her back was literally broken, so she would have been paralyzed for this cannon. For this story, she would have been paralyzed. But Naruto healed her. And so we left off with me saying Naruto healed her. Somebody did knock on my door, so I'm sorry for that. So let's get back into it. So after Naruto healed Tintin, he told her to head straight um straight to the place and get that gift ready for her. As Mimma was wondering what Naruto was talking about, as Mimma goes down, asks Naruto, and she asks, and Naruto explains what he asks Mimma, um, Naruto explains to Mimma what he asks Tintin to do. Which, t Mimma gets an idea and just, um, asks him to split the sword to, um, no, no, he asks her to just change it and say that it's a gift from their sensei, just, um, and ask them what handles they want. As Naruto, ha as Mimma hands, his uh, his scroll with his sword in over it to uh, Tintin. So she nods. She said they'll be done in like a week or two. Was Naruto and them nod, and they say thank you. When Tintin leaves and go to her shop and starts to work on it. 
So, Samui versus Dar um, no, Karoi versus Daroi. I mean, no, Omoi. Omoi wins. Um, we're just gonna move Samui up to, to the finals. Cause I, I, oh, yeah, one of Kabuto's teammates. Stayed back, so one of Kabuto's teammates faced someone. Someone wants best the father. So, um, they're gonna do the one month time skip. So, um, Naruto and Eno are walking around, and this is like a week into it. And Naruto went to the shop that morning and picked up something. I mean, Mema and um, Mema, um, Naruto, Hinata, and you know, they all walking together. Naruto and Mema went to the shop to pick up the swords. As I see a man peeping, you know, and you know, um, Hinata want to go up. I'll uh, try and go and attack the man, but Naruto and Mema hold him back. They say, let them handle it. As Naruto, Naruto um, taps the shoulders on the man's shoulder, he turns around, and Mema runs up and hugs the man. As the as Jiraiya's like, get off me, kid. I don't... He says, Jiraiya Sensei. He says, Sense Jiraiya Sensei. Who are you? Um... You know, you... I, wait, no, I just, I did say... All right. They say Jirai Sensei. As Bimba is always happy to see Jirai Sensei. Okay, I forgot that I said that Jirai was a part, was one of their team captains, one of their team um El uh, Joni team leaders. So um Jirai be like, oh Bimba Naruto, Bimba why you why are you always so happy to see me? He says, cause you're my Sensei Jirai Sensei, my master. Why wouldn't I be happy to see you? As he tell, as they tell the girls to come over and they and they introduce Hinata and Eno. Now Jiraiya knows that Mema is into the uh, CRA. Yes, he has. I never went over that, but he did enter the CRA. So for now, we got one girl in there. This is Eno. Naruto and he um and Naruto in. Introduces Inata to Jiraiya and tells Jiraiya that this is the girl that he hopefully one day will marry. As Hinata blushes at this and Jiraiya says, hmm. And she says, he grabs the two and says, you know, I'm too, I'm so jealous of you two. You two here have women while your sensei does it. As Naruto remembers something about Tsunade. He says, what about Tsunade? As Jiraiya blushes and looks at his and does that little Hinata thing with his fingers, he says. <laughs> yes, he thinks about Tsunade. But then he snaps out of him and says, I can't find her. He says, Well, why don't you um why don't we train with you? But um and um go find her. As Jiraiya says, Fine kids, let's go. As um Naruto and Mima ask, you know, and he not to do they want to come. Which they all say yes. They say yes. Cause I mean, like, why not want? Who wouldn't want to come to find the legendary Sonny? So with them, they then leave the village, and um, we're just gonna say, it, Tsunade is closer. So it would take them like a couple days, but not as long as they, I think, as they as they did last time. So they wouldn't. They won't have the meeting with Itachi. <clears throat> So, um, Naruto would eventually spot, um, Tsunade, as he would send the mark through, um, as, um, the, he would send his chakra through the mark to Mema. As Mema would transport to Jiraiya, then to Ino, then to Hinata, and transport them to, Na uh, to Naruto. As Mema then goes there himself. Jiraiya says, Tsunade! And she's surprised and says, Jiraiya, Jiraiya, what are you doing here with these kids? Ah, don't tell me, Jiraiya, don't tell me, Jiraiya, you, he says, no, these are my students. And these women with them are their, let's just say lovers for now. That's too nice. 
Tsunade blushes and then gets angered because remember she doesn't have a lover. <clears throat> As Mima go, Mima and Naruto go to Tsunade, and both of them say, "I'm um, bow and say hello, Lady Tsunade." To so she, um, you know, she blushes a little because no one's really showing her formalities like that in a while. As I say, um, Lady Tsunade, hold out your hand. As Tsunade does this, and Naruto and Mima place a um, mark marker on Tsunade. She says, what did you two? As they find Rising Tsunade to the third Okage's office. By sending something else to a different marker. They sent her to the Hokage's office. So Shiz Shizune goes to try and attack Naruto, but um, and Mima. But you know... Um, uses the mind transfer jutsu while he knocks it, um, plugs, um, hits, she's doing a soccer points, knocking her out. They twist right, carry she's doing a, and they all go back to the hidden leaf. Um, back in the hidden leaf, a random, um, a yellow flash appears. And he's like, his, he uses says, oh, no, so remember, what are you, like, Tsunade, what are you? This old man as she grabs she was in and shakes him says, What is the meaning of this? You kidnap me. You kidnap me, you old geezer. She's like, What do you mean, Shunari? She says, Jiraiya came with some kids who just transported me here. And didn't even ask me if I wanted to come back. As now, um, he was in things. Yeah, damn, no, it's on memory. So, um, Jiraiya and them would arrive in the village a couple of, um a couple of minutes later, as they were kind of hungry and started to eat some food. And as soon as they're in the village, they tell Jiraiya to head on ahead. They won't talk to Ino and um, Hinata. Naruto will hand Hinata the blade, as he said that this was um this was his blade, but he decided to give it to her. And Mima hands Ino his. He said it's, it has a special, it has a marker into the handle that can't be noticed. So all you gotta do is just put, is if you put chakra and direct it directly towards the marker, it'll, um, you know. It will, um, it will send us a notification, like, not like a notification, it would alert us that you need us to come here. So, with this now happening, um, Naruto and um, Mima would eventually head back to, uh, would head to the Hokage's office. Where they see Tsunade, and Tsunade sees them, and she starts chasing them. As Naruto and Mima start to run away. Run there as fast as they can, and they eventually run past the gate guards. And Tsunade sees, and she continues to chase them until Naruto and them turn around. And hold their fingers up, and flying rising away to their house in the form, to the mark where their house is. As I say, summoning you two. Well, as they wait, no, no, no. I forgot they sealed it. They didn't. Um, they didn't reverse something. They sealed, uh, unsealed their house, which appeared out of the force of death, and making it shake. As I don't really remember if I said that Naruto and then like the Rasengan, but they will start on the Rasengan now. I think I did say they did, they did that. So we're gonna go to Eno. Eno will then walk into her house and tell her dad that she wants to start training his swords. That's her dad says, well, 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 I mean, we have swords, but why the sudden, as she pulls out a blade and says, Mima gave it to her. Cause you know, Ichi knows what this means. He's like, oh, that damn kid. So, uh, he says fine, and starts to train, he, um, you know, and using the swords, and as using the swords as a, so, by, and we're gonna, so we're gonna go to Hinata now, over to Hinata's perspective, where she would be training, um, uh, with her dad in the art of swords, um, and swords, 
as he, he um Hiyashi is kind of happy about this because this means that his daughter isn't afraid to fight anymore. She's gonna she's gonna be willing to fight even if it's not in a gentle fist. As I do train in that and everything, and they incorporate her gentle fist into a sword fight. They call it the gentle slice technique. And so now we're gonna uh, try to skip a month, and Naruto and Memo will master the like complete the Rasengan. I don't know if I said that yeah, they completed the Rasengan. They did. I did say they completed it. I believe, but they they completed it, and um, Dry came to them and said that. Since they got uh, Tsunade here, and if they would become both become tuning, that he would take them and start training them in Sage mode. Of course, Naruto and um, Memo would be happy. He's like, okay, Joy Sensei. As long as you train with us, as he thinks. Uh, fine. So, um, Naruto, um, first match will be starting. So I know I said Eno you know, and Sakura came out with a tie. So what they decided to do in this one is make them rematch in the um in the finals. So the first match will be Naruto versus Neji, and well, as well, yeah, Naruto versus Neji. And let's be honest, Naruto is winning. There is no doubt about it. Naruto is going to win. And that's when we get to the second match. It will be Omori versus uh, Memma. Naruto says, I gotta win this. So, since um, Naruto, um, they they start the match. That starts with Naruto using the sheath and the sword. He doesn't unsheath the sword. As um, the sheath looks like a wooden sword. Look, makes this, um, when you put it on, it matches the sword correctly. So it looks like a, just looks like a wooden sword. So, um, I'm away with the thing. What, what, what are you gonna do with the wooden sword? As he channels lightning chakra into it, it's not just says, you know, I've been working on this technique. As Naruto, then. Focuses some chakra into it. So for this one, I'm gonna say, um, like, um, Inferno style or Blaze release is lightning and fire, because I don't believe there's a, I believe there is a chakra nature of that. But for now, we're just gonna say that Blaze release is lightning and fire. As Naruto would then focus lightning chakra into his blade, clashing, um, clashing. With Omoe, you know, Omoe would be like, what? How can he use lightning style? You know, until we then put fire chakra into it with the other hand. As the blade, uh, as the blade um, burns, the sheath burns, which it just returns to the ha to the handle. And Naruto, it will um, catch a black flame. And this will shock everybody. He's like, what is that flame? So, now, Naruto and um, Mima and Omui. No, yeah, Omui. The class one more time with Omui getting set on fire. And Naruto says, Naruto places his blade under in the ground. He um, stabs it into the ground and focuses his chakra into it. And she says... Inferno style genjutsu. Um, burning acre. I like that. Um, Inferno style gen, um, burning acre. It's just a genjutsu. It's a genjutsu that when the flame touches you, it's it's not enough to ignite around you. It just touches you. It just puts you into a genjutsu. And th what this jutsu does is it forces you to. If the, the um, person who casts against you to put special orders into the flame, so when you would, when the flame touches you, 
you would do, obey those orders as almost you would say, I forfeit. Crowning Naruto the winner as Naruto will release the Genjutsu by unstep by lifting the sword out of the ground and sheathing it. Well, I sheathing it as um stop letting chakra pour out of it. Um stop putting chakra into it as it will sheath itself. So with this, Naruto is crowned the winner. So we're gonna go to Sh uh, Shikamaru versus Tamari. That will go to Canon. Uh, Samui, um, versus, no, I know who we're going to do. So, we're going to go into the soccer versus Eno rematch. As Eno focuses her chakra into the blade. And she casts a mind trust for Jutsu into her blade. And she says, mind trust for Jutsu. And she points it at the, at the sword. Um, uh, and then she points the sword at soccer and says, transfer. As the sword, as Eno can um, uses the sword to extend her consciousness, so she can still be in her body and 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 use the mind transfer jutsu. So it's like a conscious trans. It transfers part of her consciousness, so she has control over what Sakura does. As Eno would then um, use the back of the the back of the um, I believe it's called the hilt. Or the handle. She would use the handle to uh, hit Sakura in the back of the head, knocking her out. Crowning Eno the winner. And then the third hook, then Eno will be facing Samui next. With, well, let's be honest, Samui winning. But she did make Eno really mad by saying that, um, that young, um, that blade that she using, the, the original, the previous owner is pretty cute. As this, as she points at Naruto and weeks at him. Which Naruto does blush a little bit. Which makes Eno mad, which is how Eno lost. And she start then wasn't using her head. She was just uh, pure rage. She wasn't not Mema. Not Naruto. Mema. I'm sorry. So with this, Mema will blush and Eno will get knocked uh will actually she will get stabbed. And will be in so much pain because it will um some we channel lightning chakra into her own blade. Ca um causing Eno to pass out from the pain and being electrocuted. Crowning making her the winner. Making some the winner. So now the match that um the the um everybody's waiting for is Sasuke versus Gara. As Garo as uh, Shukaku remembers that um there's a nine tails here, so he's gonna be a little bit more careful. As everything will go to canon with the with the um with Shukaku coming out in the forest and Sasuke and Sakura are getting dropped by Shukaku. Okay, let's be honest. They're not doing nothing at the stake they are in that. Now, I'm just going to be honest with you. So, Naruto and Memo would arrive. And we'll, um, as Naruto, they did get so many contracts. As Naruto was summoned Gamabunta. And what is that? Uh, there's another frog. And, Nar and Memo would do the bring, bring down the house due to. Where he summons that giant frog that just lands on Shikaku. As, um. Okay, as. Um, Naruto and Gamabunta would slash Shikaku. And Naruto would throw his blade to where Mimma would, um, find Raji near. Well, would switch places with the blade using his flying Raji marker. And would punch. As he runs, and switches himself with the blade and punches Gar, waking him up. And Gar and Gar comes out of his singing thing, as he says, "I'm sorry for I'm sorry you too." But Shikaku kind of took over. 
That's Naruto and Lemma understands him. It's alright, God. Well, we should probably go get your siblings. As Memo picks up Gara, and Naruto goes in uh, on reverse, flying rising his sword to him. And this is where I'm going to end this part off, guys. Peace and goodbye.